So here we are at one of our really old Lula avocado trees. Uh, this tree is probably 100 years old. And in this section of the tree only, we're seeing uh, sort of chlorotic leaves. So Har's got a quick diagnosis. It's one of the easier nutritional deficiencies to learn to recognize. And that's where you get the yellowing between the veins, but have a remaining strip of okay. green uh, on either side of the vein. That's manganese deficiency. Notice that the vein is, the veins are light colored. There's a dark green healthy strip on either side of the vein and then uh, the yellowing area well away from the veins. If it were an iron deficiency, the grain, I mean the veins, would be dark green and the yellow would come right up to the edges of the veins. Those are the two easiest deficiency symptoms to learn. It is often the case that deficiency symptoms show up just on portions of trees. And that is usually because either the branch has been injured or the roots that feed that part of the tree are in soil that's different from the roots around the rest of the tree. Usually the roots radiate out in an asterisk pattern and wherever the roots are feeding, uh, they come up, uh, connect to the trunk and the veins bringing the water and minerals up come out on the same side. Yep, that's a very important concept because a lot of people think if you've got any part of the root zone, it's good enough for the tree, but you really have to try and cover as much of the root zone as possible to get the tree fed properly. Mm -hmm.